What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Thank you guys so much because we are at 100 subscribers. That is such a fun accomplishment. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for sticking around. And if you aren't, definitely hit subscribe down below because we have a lot of fun over here on my channel. Um, but today's video is very exciting. It is the start of the Nashville videos. So you guys know that we went to Nashville if you've been following along. And it was such a fun time. We're home now. I don't want to spoil it, but this is the start of our Nashville series. It's going to be three to four videos long, at least three, but maybe four. And today's video is going to be packing with me and getting ready to leave. So I'm going to walk you guys through all of my packing process. I filmed everything and I'm going to give you some pointers and just show you how I packed for Nashville. So the first thing that I did in my packing process was that in the few weeks prior to leaving for the trip, I started packing things by putting them on my clothing rack. So I definitely recommend doing this. You don't need a clothing rack to do it. You can lay them in a pile, put them in a bag, whatever. But a few weeks leading up, I just kept adding things to my clothing rack. So like if I thought, oh, I'm going to need a mini shampoo and a mini conditioner, I would get it out and then set it there. And so I started doing that um, as very early steps. I just started pulling out clothes I might want to wear, um, different things I need like toiletries, um, hair combs, ponytails, jewelry, things that I don't really use every single day that I could definitely put aside early on. So I started doing that for a few weeks. And then once it came time to leave, I had making a list of everything I need like essentials and made sure that it was all on the shelf. So basically everything I was going to pack was already on the shelf by the time that I was getting ready to put it in the bag. And then with that, I also tried on every single clothing outfit that I was going to bring and made sure that they looked cute. And there were some things that I definitely didn't like and decided to put back. So this is also a really good step. If you want to get cute pictures or just want to feel good in what you're wearing, definitely try it all on beforehand. So here is some footage of me doing all of that. Next steps after getting everything together and trying everything on is packing. So I ended up packing my clothes by first putting my shoes into the bottom of my bag so that they were not on top of all the clothes and it just made the most sense. So all the shoes go in the bottom and then I rolled my clothes to fit the most amount possible into my smaller duffel bag. So I just rolled each item and put them in the bag got it all in there and then I packed toiletries into one pouch and accessories, hair, jewelry stuff into another pouch and threw that on top. So this is me packing that. Alright you guys, I have all my rolled clothes that you guys just saw me roll up and now I'm going to show you putting them into the bag and making it all like really compact and fit all in here. So I just have this duffel bag style bag and I have my shoes in here already. I laid my little cowgirl boots across the bottom flat and these shoes are so chunky there's really no good way to put them in there but I just have them like that. So let's pack it up. And then I also have a tech bag. So I put all my tech stuff into one bag, um, both my laptops, one personal laptop and my work laptop, my camera, lenses, uh, everything you can think of that all went into my tech bag. So that is how I packed up all of my bags. After 
after that, I decided to clean out my car because it was a disaster. So I started by doing the interior. I cleaned everything out. I swept. I took out trash. I made it really comfortable in the back seat for Cheyenne and Jake by putting a blanket and snacks in there. And I just did all of that stuff, which was honestly really needed anyway, but great before a road trip. And then I also decided to clean the outside of my car in addition to that because it was filthy and it was not something a car wash or like just the rain could take off. So Angela and I did it by hand because it was just, just disgusting bugs and all of that kind of stuff. So we went to Angela's mom's and cleaned out my car. So that was a essential step for me, especially because there were just so many bugs on the windshield and it was disgusting and I needed it to be clear for driving. So after all of that, um, I did the car wash and the car clean out, um, I think three to four days before we left. And then the night before we left, I decided to pack all my stuff into the car that I didn't need, which was pretty much everything except my toothbrush. So I started putting all of that stuff into the car and getting it packed nice and tight in the bottom section of my trunk. And then when Cheyenne and Jake got here on the day that we left in the morning, they were able to throw all of their stuff in right on the top. So that worked out perfectly. And we got everything in there, still being able to see out the back window, which is amazing. And we were all packed up and ready to go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my little process of how I got packed for Nashville, all the outfits I was trying on. And I will say, I will give a little spoiler, I did add some additional outfits after filming. So there are definitely some surprises in there, but stay tuned for the next videos because they will be vlogs and travel diaries of Nashville, of all the fun things we did, all the outfits we wore, the pictures we took. We had such a fun time and I'm so excited for you guys to kind of join us on that little journey. And I also want to say, if you're not following my travel Instagram, you definitely should. It's new. It's called That Travel Coffee Couple, and it's where Angela and I are going to be documenting all of our travels and trying different coffee shops and restaurants wherever we go and posting our reviews and thoughts on them, and I think it is a really cool idea, so definitely follow that if you're not already, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you soon in Nashville videos. Bye!